While, while George and I disagreed on many issues, the, the former Governor's Club of Virginia is kind of a small one, and we both share a deep, deep love for this Commonwealth and this country. But now the election is over. And, and for as hard as a 19-month campaign is, now is the hard work. It's time for all of us who love this Commonwealth and the country to come together to find common ground in our efforts to find solutions to our nation's common problems. And you know, and I'm, I'm optimistic that we can because that's the Virginia way. Working together, we will make fiscally responsible choices to reduce our deficit while keeping the economy strong and not shredding our nation's safety net. In fact, we'll do it in a way where we make the key investments that we need to make to grow the economy in a fair way. Working together, we'll invest in our small businesses and infrastructure to strengthen the middle class and create jobs. You know that our entrepreneurs and our small businesses are the engines of job growth in Virginia and the nation, and we have to do more to support those true job creators. Working together, working together, we've got to win the global race for talent. So that means we've got to continue making those critical investments from early childhood to higher education to workforce training to keep our nation positioned ahead of all of our global competitors. But most of all, most of all, working together, we will remind Virginians and all Americans that our institutions of government can actually function again, that our leaders can set aside partisan politics and rise to tackle the challenges that face our nation. We know that as a commonwealth and as a country, we've been through tough times, and we know that many of our friends and neighbors and family members are still struggling. But you know what? Unlike some of the doom and gloom that you see perpetrated out there, I'm not pessimistic because we've been through tough times before and we've come out stronger for it. We all know this, tough times don't last, but tough people last. So, so working together, we'll strengthen this Commonwealth and this nation and will continue to pave the way for a brighter future for all Americans. Now, I want to just take a couple of minutes to offer some thanks. And this is the hard part of the speech, because as I look out and see so many of you who I knew before I was even running for office, I could make this thanks portion stretch on. Well, I could actually start a good Senate filibuster tradition that I might need to, <laughs> that I might need to learn in this August body. But, but let me just do some thanks. I, I want to start with the people closest to me, my, my own family. And, and, and let, me just, let me just begin. I'm one of those rare Democrats who has one political hero, and it's a Republican. It's my father-in-law, Linwood Holton.